Hello everybody, welcome back to our channel. In this episode we're going to be solving a Physics 7C practice problem on the topic of magnetic fields and forces. As usual, if you're finding this content helpful, please make sure to leave a like, it really helps our channel. So this is the problem that we're going to be solving today. We basically have four different scenarios. We have an electron on the four scenarios and we basically need to figure out if there is a magnetic force and if there is a magnetic force then we have to draw a force vector basically to uh, show a, the direction of set force. So this is uh, a sketch of our four scenarios. So basically all we have to do is just go one by one and then decide if we think that there is a magnetic force or not. So let's just go ahead and do it. Um, just as a little reminder that I'm seeing here on the... Uh, on the equations, we do have the equation F is equal to QV V sine of the angle, which is just our standard equation that we're gonna need. And the, uh, the direction we have to use our right hand rule for if we do have a force, because again, so this is magnitude, magnitude, magnitude magnitude uh, Q, V, V, sine of an angle. So basically we have to figure out whether there is a magnetic uh, force or not. And then if there is, we have to use our right hand rule to figure out the direction. So let's just start over here. So for our first scenario, we have, so we do have a charge. The charge is moving. So these two are numbers. Uh, we do have a field because just remembering from the L, whenever we have a magnet, the magnetic field goes from north to south. So our, we do have a field. However, what happens over here? What happens over here is that your velocity is going to the left and your magnetic field is going to the right, this means that the angle between them is 180 degrees. Sine of 180 degrees is equal to zero. So even though we do have all of the requirements, we do have a charge that is moving on an electric, on a magnetic field, I'm sorry, there is no, there is no force because V and V, well, the, the velocity in the magnetic field are parallel to each other. So now let's just go ahead and do the second one. So for the second one, again, if I draw my... You always want to go from north to south. Now, if we do this again, then my velocity again is going to the left and the magnetic field at this point is going to the right. So basically we have the same scenario. Your angle is 180 degrees. So our force is equal to zero. We don't have any magnetic force. And the reason is because again, they are parallel to each other. So now for part C, instead of a magnet, we have a wire. So we basically need to figure out, oh wait, we don't have to figure it out because Q is not moving. So regardless of the direction of B, B is equal, oh, well, the velocity I should distinguish because I have an accent, so you wouldn't know if I'm talking about V or V. Uh, the velocity is equal to zero because the electron is not moving and then as soon as this number is equal to zero then the entire multiplication is equal to zero because this is just a multiplication so if v is zero then you just don't have any force period and now for the fourth one i think this is the one that we are actually going to have some non-zero answer because we do have all of the requirements. 
So we have a charge that is negative. We have a velocity that is going to the right. And then our magnetic field, we have to use our right hand rule. So if, you, if we use our right hand rule for the wires, which is just put your thumb on the wire and then just twirl, you'll see that the direction of the magnetic field produced by the wire at this point goes into the page, into the page. So we will have a force and uh, we just have to figure out the direction. So you wanna use your right hand rule over here. And if you use your right hand rule, you'll see that the direction of this is upwards. If you just go ahead and use your right hand rule, you're gonna get upwards. But we're talking about a negative charge. So because by definition, you would use your right hand rule to figure out this direction, but then you're multiplying times either plus or minus. And in this case, you're multiplying times a minus. So if you count this, then whatever we've got, we have to flip because we have a negative charge. So even though my right hand rule per se is upwards, my final answer needs to be um, needs to be down. So we do have an F going down final answer. Again, it, it is one thing to just do the right hand rule, but then you have to consider whether it's plus or minus. And if it's a minus, then you need to uh, basically flip your answer. So then my force vector would just be down. So anyways, this is the end of this practice problem. I hope you guys found it uh, useful. If you did, please make sure to leave a like and I will see you guys on the next video.